Now let me tell you about the building behind me. I think it, you should know. Uh, it holds the power of imagination and discovery and will challenge the curiosity and creativity, creativity of our students through lessons that reflect the skills necessary to succeed in the 21st century. In its three rooms, you will find the Makerspace and Engineering Design Room, which enables K-5 through sixth graders to use critical thinking and develop creativity, collaboration, and communication skills. Its curriculum focuses on wind, water, and space. And you probably know why we picked those three if you live in Bell. <laughs> in the computer science space, each K-5 through sixth grade student are assigned their personal Chromebook. The classes aim on building a student's digitally, digitally native state, state status, including experimenting with basic programming and design engineering software. If you've ever watched children play, you know they're fascinated with building things and taking things apart. They're natural born engineers. And what we try to do is uh, take advantage of that. When children get to engineer in a school setting, research suggests a lot of positive things happen. Engineering calls for children to apply what they know in science and math. It helps build these skills. Hands-on project-based learning is the essence of engineering. And groups of students work to an answer questions like, how large should I make the canopy on this parachute? What material should I use to make the blades of this wind turbine? They collaborate, think critically and creatively, and communi communicate with each other. Classroom engineering activities often require students to work in teams. They collaborate and cu communicate, and they must collaborate and communicate effectively. In the 21st centru century, these skills are necessary to career success. Research also shows that when engineering is part of elementary instruction, students become more aware of all these diverse opportunities in engineering, and they're more likely to pick careers in that direction. Maybe work for SpaceX someday. So we're at Episcopal Day School here in Brownsville, um, and they are inaugurating the Patrick Rodriguez School of Innovation, which is very important, I think, for our community. He believed in servant leadership, has given a lot to the community, and the fact that we're here and they've given the Tipton and Reed family it, and his servant leadership is reflected in it. What I liked a lot about um, the center is that it's all, not only thinking about drone or makerspace or robotics, but also thinking about the future leaders and what kind of leaders that we want, not only in Brownsville, but in the nation. So really it's meant to be, you know, a makerspace, a hub of new technology and science. It's not about all about business and money, it's about community. And I think that's what he demonstrates and what the, that's what they want to demonstrate at the school. It's something that the families came together to do uh, at Episcopal Day School. They feel that innovation is important for children and all of the children of Episcopal Day School are going to have the benefit of having an innovation center, sharing the ideas, uh, playing around, tinkering with, with a bunch of different things, really getting their ideas out there, being creative, which is really important for children to, to share their ideas with others and really just kind of test their limits. Uh, we want all of our young students to be exposed to this at an early age, really get a feel for it, and see the possibilities that are out there for them. And this really um, teaches them to be creative and to really think beyond what they think is possible.